Okay, and we've started recording. So welcome everybody to the uh, March 13th edition of Collaborative Connections. Let's start off with a round of introductions. So my name's Michael and I'm, the, I'm a library assistant here in Stockton, California. And we'll just go uh, clockwise if you, guys, if you guys are in the same order that I'm seeing you. <laughs> so uh, Laura. <laughs> okay, Laura, County Librarian, Amateur County. And Stanislaw. I'm Yvonne and I'm at Stanislaus County Library and this is Ruben. Yeah, hi. Hey Ruben, nice to meet you. Hey. And uh, Calaveras? Oh, uh, turn your microphone on. That there on? you go. Okay, yeah, my name is Ed, and I'm a volunteer here at the library. Hey, Ed, thanks for joining us. Thanks. And Tuolumne? I'm Deb Sampson. I have to go take a quick call, and then I'll be right back. Oh, okay, right on. <laughs> and that's her dog. <laughs> So everybody can see my screen okay? Yes. With my email, yeah. So that's Deb's dog. <laughs> if any of you have uh, pictures of your pets that you'd like to send to me the la uh, right now, and I can put them up. Um, so this week we're talking about animals and even like visiting the zoo and parks in our area. Um, why don't we just go ahead and start off with who has pets at home? I have, I have a couple of cats. Laura? A cat. A cat, uh-huh. How about you guys in Stanislaw? Do you have a pet? Oh, no, I don't have. No pets? No. I don't. You no, need don't. Nope. <laughs> How about you, Ed? I've got, is my thing on? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I've got a dog, small dog. Um, yeah, her name is Sunshine. Oh, <laughs> what kind of dog is Sunshine? Well, she's a mixture. We got her at the shelter. So she's, uh, she's got a little bit of a uh, Chihuahua, but she's a big dog. So she's got something called Pomeranian. So she's got a lot of hair. Nice. A big Chihuahua. Big one. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, and yeah, just a note for everyone. Um, if you look at this device, if the lights are green, your mic is on. If they've turned red, then they're off. <laughs> I don't know if you were able to see that on my screen, but so that's, that's how you can know if you're on or not. Um, awesome. So I just sent myself a couple of pictures of my animals. So while we're waiting for Deb to get back, I'm going to pull those up. Let's see. So this is Sonic. <laughs> she is uh, three years old. And I'm not forcing her to be in that box. <laughs> that, I just brought that home from work and she climbed in. <laughs> um, this is her and Genos. Genos is the boy. He's six years old now. And then I've got another one of him <laughs> covering his eyes to sleep. I love my cats. <laughs> um, but I like dogs too, just so you know, Ed. Nothing against dogs. <laughs> I just live in an apartment. <laughs> Yeah, so we have a we have a small plot in the backyard, so that's why oh. we have a small dog. Her, yeah, but, but you need I a have, yard. I would go with a cat. So yeah. it's a yeah. Dogs need a yard so they can run around, right? Yeah, they really do. Yeah. <laughs> I try to walk her every day, but it's still, you know, she needs her time alone out there running around. So. That's mm -hmm. good. Now, you guys in Stanislaw, have you had pets in the past? Um, have you had pets in the past? Like when you were growing up, when you were a kid? 
I don't know why I asked that. Uh, he wants to know, have you ever had a dog or a cat? A dog. You had a dog? Yeah. Okay. And when you were a kid? I was yeah, how old were you when oh, you... Oh, this was me or the... You. How you old were you? Oh, yeah, I have 29. Oh, you were 29? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, I have 29. Okay. Oh, okay. And what kind of dog was uh, it? Big one. It was what? Big bull. Big dog? Yeah. Big one. Oh, a pit bull. Yeah. Yeah, those are Oh, nice. my God. Oh, man. Okay, hang on. <laughs> what was the Let's dog's see. name? Huh? What was the dog's name? Um, this is the name is the... Oh, what's it? Um, oh. I don't remember. So it's... What color? It's like something like that here in the corner, at the bottom. Oh. The other one here in the, this corner. Like that one? No, on the left. Uh-huh. Oh, the yeah. second row. The, this one. Oh, yeah. uh, this one? one? That one. Yeah, yeah, that one. Oh! Yeah. That's really nice. Oh, yeah. I love pit bulls. <laughs> what was <laughs> it? Uh, my wife don't like it too much. Yeah. Oh, but your you, wife didn't like it? <laughs> not a lot because, you know, for the kids. Yeah. Oh. It's nice dog. It's nice dog, but every time you play a little, a little hard, the dog. Yeah. Yeah. They're strong. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. that one. And they, they don't know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I would, um, I used to have a friend who lived in Reno, Nevada. And when I would visit, I would sleep just on the floor in the living room and his pit bull would just run in in the morning and just jump all over me. Uh, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah. But I loved it. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Okay. Right on. <laughs> How about you, Laura? You said you have a cat? Yes. What kind of cat? Just a short hair, gray cat. Her name, oh, yeah. her name is Gray Cloud, but we call her Bunky. Aww. Bunky. <laughs> Let's see if I can get a nice picture. Something like that? Uh, yes. Oh, ah. Go back. Yeah, those are Russian so great. Yeah, <laughs> like the one front, the second from the right on the bottom. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So is your cat a I Russian sent you a blue? picture, but I didn't. Pardon me? Huh? Is your cat a Russian blue? No, no. She's just, um, she adopted us. She actually, she had a sister and um, the neighbors also had a Rottweiler and she was always outside and she came and just started hanging out with us. And when her owners moved, she stayed with us and we moved with her. So she's now living with us. Awesome. Awesome. That's really cool. We, I see cats around my apartment complex. None of them have adopted me yet, <laughs> but they can probably smell the two I already have. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, we had cats before. We both, actually, oh. we, had, uh, we had two male cats and another one that sort of adopted us as well. And those also kind of came to us. We didn't, except hey. for the first one, um, we uh, got him from a shelter and then the others came to us to our house just showed up yeah <laughs> right on right mm -hmm. on oh i mean that saves you the the fees <laughs> i guess there's uh, that <laughs> if they just show up <laughs> yes oh, they have to man. adopt you uh-huh that's awesome yeah mine were from the shelter too mm -hmm. well what's up ed well i was gonna say we have uh we're kind of in the country uh -huh. So where I walk my dog is kind of the end of the area where we have houses. And mm -hmm. many people who have cats who live in that area lose their cats to the coyotes. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, oh man. Them. They like to eat them, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. You have too many they... wild cats there. They, they don't last very long. Oh. That's true. Yeah, I remember the the... 
I took my cats to the veterinarian and they really encouraged making them indoor cats because it's mm -hmm. so dangerous. Yeah, ours is indoor. Oh. Yeah, oh. Uh. Um, okay, so I had a little sort of activity last week. I kind of asked people if they wanted to uh, reveal their spirit animals. <laughs> um, which for me was taking the Myers-Briggs personality test and they have uh, like articles like this where they assign animals to the Myers-Briggs. Have you, is everyone here familiar with Myers-Briggs? Yes. Yeah. Myers-Briggs, yeah. Does someone else want to explain it? Uh. Explain the Myers Briggs. Yeah. It's a personality test. It's based on things like um, whether you uh, make decisions based on your feelings or whether you make decisions based on the logic behind something. And there's usually uh -huh. a set of people who decide either this way or this way, but yep. the things are there. So you pick for yourself with some questions which you prefer to do, and then you end up either on this side or on that side. That's it, that's correct. One of so, doing it is to also look whether you are extroverted or introverted. The extrovert is someone who gets his energy from being around people. And an uh -huh. extrovert, which is the opposite, gets his energy by being alone. So right. the to be with people will fall asleep when he's getting alone. Yeah, yeah. We'll get energy and be able to work with people some more. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> so you end up in the test, and you will either be an E for extrovert or an I for introvert. And there right. are letters you can get. Does everyone know theirs? Yeah. Yes. No, Laura, what's yours? Yes. So the when, when I just took it, the first time that I took it, which was many years ago, was INFJ. And this last time it was ISFJ. Interesting. Mm -hmm. That's because okay. of age, probably. Yeah. Yeah, learning things about the world. Who knows? <laughs> But Yvonne, Ruben, no, oh, no, I didn't take it. I didn't have time, so I just like looked on the got the Chinese horoscope, and I'm a tiger oh. in that. So hey. I have an answer, you know? nice. Mm -hmm. uh, well, if you want to go Chinese horoscope, then that puts me at snake. Oh, <laughs> Ruben, what's your horoscope? Uh, what, what month were you born? Um, let's see. You can say in Spanish. I might understand it. Your month in Spanish. Okay. Okay. So, I like the animals. Or the no, animals? the month that you were born. Well, if he knows the animal. Do you know the animal? Yeah. No, he doesn't know the animal. I don't know. That's okay. How about yeah, so, you, Ed? Yeah, I guess I, my my English is no. I don't understand exactly. <laughs> You told oh, me. that's yeah, okay. Is not perfect. Okay, yeah. that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> this is just for uh, practice, so you can practice listening. Okay. If you don't feel comfortable talking, that's okay. Okay. But I'll still give you a <laughs> chance to talk. <laughs> yeah, 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 okay. I got it. So, How about you, Ed? Turn the, I, I, my huh? Chinese animal, I think, is an ox. Okay. But and wait, what was the personality? Personality, it's an ENTJ. Which I, I don't know what it's, I don't know what. <laughs> okay, let's see. So. <laughs> I love these pictures. Um, 
Well, that's the ESTJ. Let's see. Close. <laughs> ISTJ. ESFP. <laughs> okay. Let's see. <laughs> the sloth. I love those guys. <laughs> oh gosh, how many are there? Oh, there's 16, right. Oh, here we go. So the, IS, the ISFJ. Is a deer. Is the deer, they put as a deer. Oh. Let's see. I don't know about that. There's um, oh ENTJ the bear. bear. <laughs> um, and then I'm also I'm like Laura from back in the day, so I'm also an INFJ or was an INF. Mm -hmm. I am, and you were, which is the uh, wolf. Uh. <laughs> and I love that image. Oh, so cute. Anyways, <laughs> all right. Are we ready to dive into the activity? Do you guys have uh, copies of the handout? Uh huh. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and take turns. And let's see. Okay, you can see the mouse. So I'm just gonna, I'll start with the first one and then I'll put the mouse over the next one and we'll just go around naming. If we can, if you know the name of the animal, shout it out. So I am pretty sure this guy here in the corner is a tiger. Yep. Yeah. And what about this animal right next to him, Laura? Toucan. Yeah. Like Toucan Sand, isn't that from uh, Fruit Loops? <laughs> <laughs> Yvonne, how about this one? Uh, giraffe. Uh-huh. Okay. And Ruben, do you recognize these two down here? Yeah, zebra. Yeah, yeah zebras. Zebra. Is it the same in Spanish? Zebra? Zebra. 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 <laughs> Zebra. So technically, we say it wrong. Probably. Yeah. Right, cause Zebra sounds, that sounds more right. <laughs> um, <coughs> what's this guy? Uh, Ed? And you, and you muted yourself again. <laughs> Probably it's a parrot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there, um, must be Spanish, there must be a Spanish name for parrot, yeah? What is Spanish. that? Okay. Um, I think this, this is uh, Loro. A Loro? Loro, a Spanish. Loro? From Loro. South? Yes. Loro. Okay, I'll name this guy up in the corner here. I'm guessing is the monkey. <laughs> yeah. Looks a little weird. <laughs> um, Laura, I'm guessing you can name these guys over here. The lion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, <clears throat> we know the word for a young lion? Cub. Cub, yeah. <laughs> um, Yvonne, how about this guy or gal? Um, it's a gorilla. Uh-huh. Does it have a baby gorilla? Yes. <laughs> and Ruben, how about these? This, um, okay, so this, this, this one, huh? Uh-huh. Um, this is the elefante. Elephant. Elefante. Elephant. Yes, sir. And Ed, how about this guy down here? Sorry, I don't see where you're pointing. Uh, bottom right corner. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I'm trying to look on the list. So oh, I think sir. I, oh. I don't, I, I don't see the gorilla on the, on the list. 
Oh. Is it on the bottom? Oh, number yeah, it's twelve. Way down on the bottom. It cut it off. <laughs> twelve got cut off. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah, gorilla. <laughs> So the the bottom right, crocodile, crocodile, yeah. And then this looks like a flamingo. You know. And then we've got Laura, polar bear, polar bears. <laughs> and then Yvonne, penguins, penguins. And Ruben, the last one of the day. Okay, this one. <laughs> it's kind of in the middle. Um, uh, I don't, I don't, um, I don't remember. What's it in Spanish? Um, okay. This one. Uh -huh. this, the, the, Luke, I don't, Luke. I, I don't. <laughs> okay. I don't remember in Spanish this one. So, <laughs> That's okay. I'm mistaken. I maybe get it. The list. Oh. Who wants to help them out? A hippo. A hippopotamus. Hippo. Oh yeah, hippopotamo. 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 Yeah. Hippopotamo. Hippopotamo. Yeah, it's weird. Oh man, that's hard in Spanish too. <laughs> yeah. Hippopotamo. Hippopotamo. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> um, is there anything? wrong with this picture? Uh, I don't think those kids would be down there with those animals. <laughs> right? Doesn't look very safe to me. Why don't um, these animals look really friendly? They, they look so friendly, right? Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> so, uh, oh, oh, who yeah. wants to give me the word for Animals that eat other animals. Which animals eat other animals? Carnivores. Carnivores. Uh, Ruben, Lions. can you point? Can you name the carnivores? Tiger. Carnivores. Yeah, the tiger. Yep. Yeah. Um, How about another one. Uh, Leom. Yep. The oh, you don't have to do them all. <laughs> <laughs> um, that polar bear is an obvious one because it's literally eating an animal right now. <laughs> fish. Uh, eating a fish. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think the crocodile is going for the bird. For the oh, totally. Totally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, there's also some questions that the activity came with. So, Laura, I'll start, I'll let you go with the first one. How many people can you see in the picture? Four. Four? This okay. one's hiding somewhere. Oh, okay, so we've got these two. Uh -huh. One behind. Um, this guy and one taking the picture and the picture. Yeah, very nice. Um, would you like to go ahead and read the next question for Yvonne? So Laura read and then Yvonne answer. Oh, how many animals can you see in the picture? Um, 30 Ooh. if I count the people. <laughs> Ooh, That's <not> anthropology. <laughs> yeah, gosh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five. I'll give it to you. I don't actually have an answer key for this, so. It, when Ed finishes counting, we'll let him. Does she have it, Ed? I haven't counted them all yet. I'm still counting. Oh, that's OK. <laughs> I got 31. Okay. Ooh. You're probably right. Uh. Yeah, 26 minus the people. Is that right? Mm. 
there's three penguins, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh, I think well, four. Actually, there's more. There's looks like one, two, three, five. four, five. Yeah, oh, where's the fifth yeah. one? I meant down at the bottom. Yeah, and then there's two up above there too, by the hippo. Oh, is that a baby penguin? Yeah. Like yeah. hugging the mom? Oh. Mm -hmm. Or dad. Yeah. Uh, or dad. <laughs> And well, then no, if you the, count the, the male fish. penguins take care of the babies. Oh, they do? Yes, the babies ride underneath the bottom part of where their, um, what feathers or fur it are. They ride on their feet. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. That that's awesome. Um, I really want to look that up now. <laughs> um, Yvonne, can you read the next question for Ruben? Yeah, sure. Are there three tigers in the picture? Uh, no, it's only one. Oh, this is, oh, it's, it's on three, but yep. oh, it's on different. Huh? You're right. You're right. Yeah, there's, yeah. there's only one. Yeah, there's only one. one. Yeah. yeah, one tiger, two lions. Yeah. Similar, but different. Yeah, um, similar, different. Yeah. Yeah. Ruben, do you read any English yet? Are you comfortable? Okay, yeah. that's okay. That's okay. Um, <laughs> Ed, do you want to read the uh, question D for me? All right. Is there a crocodile in the picture? <laughs> um, hey, welcome back, Deb. Hola. I'm going to... I'm gonna go ahead and let you uh, answer that one. Can you see the picture on the screen? Yes, there is a crocodile in the picture. Okay. But yeah, we how, got him right. How do we know it's not a an alligator? Maybe may be an alligator. <laughs> What's that, Deb? <laughs> after a while. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> right. Alligators say, "See you later." See you um, later. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, Deb, could you ask question? Could you can you read question E? I can, but I don't have it. Oh, I you don't, don't have the hand. Oh, okay. Uh, I scroll down here. Are there two elephants in the picture? Okay, that one would be for me, and I'm pretty sure it's just those. Two right here, taking a mm -hmm. bath. Elephants are pretty hard to it's hard to hide. <laughs> um, okay, uh, Laura, is there a gorilla baby in the picture? Yes, there is. Oh, uh, it, and it's so hard to see it too. Yeah, it's hugging its mom or dad or whatever. Uh -huh. <laughs> Anybody like the uh, Disney Tarzan? Tarzan? Yeah, I like Tarzan. Oh. <laughs> Wait, are Ed and I the only ones who know Tarzan? No, I know who he is. You know who he is. Oh. Ruben, do you know Tarzan? Tarzan? You know Tarzan? Do you know uh, what Tarzan is? No. Oh, man. Was... I'm about to, to blow your mind, man. <laughs> He, he was the first superhero. Oh, yeah. There's a, a whole world of magic about to open up to you. <laughs> Tarzan, you've probably seen this. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Tarzan. Okay, Laura, do you want to read question G for us? Is there a fish in the picture? Yes. And Yvonne would answer. Yeah. 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 What is that in uh, Spanish, Ruben? Escado. Escado. There you go. Now, we have another person. Escado. <laughs> and isn't, is there a, oh, hi, welcome. <laughs> Bienvenido. Gracias. <laughs> and isn't there a difference between a, a fish in the water and a fish that you're eating? Oh, uh, el mismo. Huh? No? 
Fish is or do you big. understand or no? No, I don't understand exactly. Uh, What's case? Um, let's see. Go ahead. Is I don't know the Spanish word, but if a fish is in the water, it's just an animal. Or you're eating it. Like it's free. Is there a different name yeah. for it? Yeah. What do you call fish when you eat it? Uh, like manger? Is it the word manger? And that's French. I don't know. Really? I, know I know French. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I know that. That's okay. That's okay. Um, you want okay, the Yvonne, you want to read that last question for us? Sure. Are there four trees in the picture? Oh, oh boy. Oh, is this the picture? Yes. What do you think, Ruben? No, son tres. Are there, there four um, trees, Arbor? Yeah, it's a tree. Yeah, four. Are there? Yeah, it's a four. Uh, three. No? Ah. Three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I only see these three, at yeah, least three. here. I mean, I feel like you can kind of see sort of in the background there, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. What's the Spanish word? Arbor. 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 When an animal tends to live in the trees, don't you call them arboreal? Arboreal? No. Yes. Arboreal. Yeah. That makes sense. I mean, it makes sense, but it might not be right. Yeah, I've <laughs> never heard of it, but it, it, I could see how that would work. Arboreal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go. Arboreal. Arboreal. Animals living in trees. Woo! Okay. Awesome. Um, okay, I'm going to backtrack a little bit. Um, Aww. Yeah, Deb didn't get to see my cats. Oh, they're cute. adorable. Uh, yeah, that's my boy on the, on the left and then my girl on the right. I uh, adopted them one year ago. Very cute. Thank you. Now let me just find your uh, email so you can introduce your <laughs> little guy. Uh, okay. Here we go. Okay, so who is this? That's Jax. Jax. Oh. Our name is Jackson Beauregard Jefferson Davis the third. <laughs> Jackson Beauregard Jefferson Davis the third. Yeah. How so old he is he? Papers, huh? yeah. <laughs> oh. That's a paper name if I ever heard one. <laughs> not. He, he's a rescue. He's not um no. Uh -oh. Yeah. <laughs> he's he not a breeder like, dog no, or whatever. No, no. But he Well, I'm sure he'd like to be. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. How long have you had Jax? For 14 months. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. So just a little longer than me. Yeah, oh. I got him when I moved here. Wow. Has it been a fun uh, adjustment period? Wow. We have a lot of mud here, dirt. So every time it rains, he gets orange pause and he walks all over everything and I have to clean up the orange mud. Right, right. <laughs> oh gosh. And he likes car rides, I'm guessing? He loves them. <laughs> oh, I miss having dogs. <laughs> I had dogs when I was a kid. They're great. So. Someday, someday when I have a house and not a, a apartment. Who here lives in an apartment? Raise your hand if you live in an apartment. Wow, only me. You jerks. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so do you all live in houses? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 
Mm-mm. Wait. No, I live in the streets. Yvonne, you live in the streets? No, I live in a duplex. Oh, in a duplex. Oh. <laughs> Kind oh, okay. Like an apartment, but <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. Duplex. Yeah, so don't feel bad. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Duplex. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, interesting. It, so it just kind of... seems, it's one house and two people kind of share it. There's a dividing wall. Uh huh. Oh, uh-huh. interesting. Side by side or up and down? Side by side. Yeah. It's one story. Yeah. I've done both before. Oh. I feel like I've only seen that in like interesting movies, like in set in like New York or something. Well, no. Now, if you want really interesting, we also lived on the bottom floor of a three-decker. Those exist back what? east. What? A three-decker house? Mm-hmm. Three-decker. So how oh, many wow. how many like floors that. are in your apartment? Pardon me? No, I was asking his apartment that he lives in. Does uh-huh. it have more than one floor? Is yeah, it, I'm on the second floor of the building. How many floors are there? Oh, it's just two. Oh, it's just the two. It's okay. just two, and it's very it's a complex, very spread out. Yeah. And there are lots of stray cats all over. <laughs> yeah. So I keep my cats inside so they don't run off and get, you know, pregnant or something or, yeah. well, not pregnant, but AIDS, cat AIDS, my vet said to worry about. Wow, this got dark. <laughs> the joys of pet ownership, right? Oh my gosh. So I got from you guys a... Amador sent me their link to their website that has some different things to explore. They have different parks. Um, but nothing really with like zoos, right? I mean, no. granted, if it's anything like Stockton, I mean, we have one place. Let's see. Oh, Reservoir. Sometimes they have like descriptions of what is there. So let's see. Oh, they do have fishing there. Okay. See, like for the Stockton one, ah. In San Joaquin <laughs> County, we have our Oak Grove, Na- uh, we have a zoo, we have mm-hmm. Mickey Grove Zoo. Mm-hmm. So this guy, oh, sure. Um, and then we have our, oh, oh man, I broke it. There we go. We have our Oak Grove nature, nature center, which tells you like some of the different animals you can see when you hike the trails or apparently right now there are gall wasp nests. What's that? Oak tree galls. They totally look like an apple or something to me. I feel like I would be tempted to, I'm sure someone has. Like, uh, has anyone ever known, had uh, pet bugs? Yeah. Oh, yeah. what did you have? We had a scorpion, an emperor scorpion. And we had a centipede, a really big centipede, and we had a tarantula. I think that's it for the bugs. No, we, I think we had a beetle too, a giant beetle. Oh my gosh, wow. My kid into them. Yeah, and if you put a black light on it, it glows green. What? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> that's scorpion. Wow. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> okay, we have 20 minutes left. I'm sure we can all agree Yvonne should use that to tell us all about having a scorpion. <laughs> I don't know. You know, you just sit in the aquarium. But see, remember, I homeschooled, so. 
Oh. But, uh, so we had a huge menagerie. My kids, I mean, we had possums, uh -huh. we had crows, we had ducks, we had rabbits, we had everything. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh. But did you ever take, did you ever do that? Like put like a. Uh, like hold it? Like this? Yeah. Well, my son did. I didn't. <laughs> what I mean, did you feed him? Ooh. What's that? What did you feed your scorpion? Crickets. Oh, man. <laughs> Are they mean? Where did no. you get the crickets? Oh. Yvonne, where did you get the crickets? At the pet store. Oh. Yeah. I didn't buy them. Yeah, you just buy them. They come in a bag. <laughs> you get a bag of crickets. Alive? Alive crickets? Yeah, yeah, living crickets, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I used to have a bearded dragon, and I had to buy crickets for him at the pet store. And I got this white protein powder. You shake them up in that a little bit so they're extra nutrition. <laughs> Oh, no, we didn't do that. We just gave him plain crickets. <laughs> no <Wow>. extras. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah. You're like Khaleesi. You had a dragon. Love them. Oh, my gosh. Okay, hang on. So you said emperor scorpion. You said um, a centipede? Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but it was a big one. It was a jungle one. It wasn't one of those little ones. Oh, oh God. We used oh. to go to these insect shows and my kid would buy them. Oh Ooh. my God. He wanted to be an anthropologist. Oh man. Does anyone else get heebie jeebies? <laughs> Ruben, do you know what heebie jeebies are? <laughs> No, it's a, it is a very important word to know in America. <laughs> uh, heebie jeebies. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> um, escalofrios. Oh, escalofrios. 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 That Spanish yeah. for heebie jeebies? Yeah, escalofrios. <laughs> oh, okay. Escalofrios. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is it oh, like that's... cold chills? Is that what it means? The frios means cold, right? Yeah, it's almost the same. Oh man, chills. And then you said a tarantula, right? Uh-huh. Those are neat. Oh man. Those are neat. And they never oh, bit crazy. your kids? Huh? They never bit or stung or pinched your kids? No. Ooh. Not that I heard of. They didn't tell me about it if it did. My kids were really tough, though. Ugh. I bet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. So you're the only one who's had bugs here? Oh, my goodness. And, uh, Japanese beetles, too. Oh, my God. All right. All right. Woo. They're really beautiful. I can do this. That's fine. They're pretty. Yeah, they're beautiful. Oh. They're huge. Oh, man. Those are neat. They were where we lived. We lived in Orange County. They're uh -huh. all over the place. You just oh. catch them, bring them in the yeah. house. It's great. Mm -hmm. That's cool. At first, I thought it was kind of scary, but then they ended up being OK, so. <laughs> they don't bite you or sting you. No, but they have hooks on their um, on their legs, so when they crawl on you, it hurts. Oh, ooh. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And they're really big. Uh huh. Yeah, oh. and they fly around all the time. Mm -hmm. Oh. I mean, I I do remember this guy came to no, he didn't come to us. We went to see. Um, do you guys go to the show, the performers showcase? No. It's this, uh, it's this thing where all these like performers mm -hmm. you can hire to come to your library advertise. Are you talking and about so there was this one that was like the bug guy and he had all these bugs. 
And he had a, uh, oh man, I'm spelling this wrong. Millipede? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm oh. spelling it wrong. Oh yeah, that's what we had. There it is. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we had. <laughs> and he like, put it on my hand and it felt like a toothbrush, okay. like brushing across my hand. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Oh man. So it's kind of like Python Ron. You guys have Python like, Ron up there? I've we seen have, yeah, I've seen Python times. Ron. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, I woo, <laughs> I have not let a snake on my body. <laughs> Maybe someday. <laughs> oh man. Um Okay, I'm gonna have to go. Oh, okay. Hey, thanks for coming. We'll All see right. you next week. See you guys. Bye. Um <laughs> okay, just because I'm a nerd and this talking about bugs makes me think about superheroes. I, has anyone seen this person? The Mighty Monarch? Have you seen Never seen him. He's a super villain in this cartoon. Anyways, I like bug themed heroes Spider Man, Ant Man, Wasp <laughs> is the coolest, of course. Um. Okay, that pretty much is it. We've only got 10 minutes left. Um, so next week is family, okay. which in Spanish is la familia. La familia. Familia. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so this week we did pictures of our pets. If any of you have pictures of family members you'd like to share, uh, send those to me. Um, but yeah, so next week we'll just be talking about uh, our families and family time and I'm sure we'll find something fun <laughs> to, to look up. Um, so yeah, thanks for coming everybody. Nice to meet you, Ruben. Okay, thank you. Gracias. You're welcome. De nada. Have a, have a good weekend, everybody. All right, you too. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> And this is Michael Vineyard signing off. <laughs> All right.